Welcome to the floating head. <laughs> Just kidding. Hello my crafty friends, it's Trinae and we are about to get into some unboxing. Woo woo, it's time to unbox this. <laughs> so, today we are opening the um Stitch Happy, I believe that's the official name for it. Come on, box. Whoa, 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 whoa. Boom. <laughs> So here is the precious, yes, the Stitch Happy um, sewing machine from We Are Memory Keepers. Now, I already have a sewing machine, like I was saying, but how cool is this? And it's like this nice, pretty color that I love. And it um, coordinates pretty well with um, my room. It, it really is more of a mint green color than it was. Um, than it is teal but I kind of like it even though my room really doesn't have anything mint green but the coloring goes with it I think it's so cute so okay so since I purchased on Home Shopping Network it came with some little extras one being um, they included some different baker's twine and this is like super heavy duty stuff it's not like thin um, thread at all and I think that's really cool that's one of the reasons I wanted this uh, because you can use the thicker threads and it's for it's intended for paper and honestly I don't like um, I really don't like sewing with sewing paper with my brother uh, machine because I, I kind of I try to keep it for fabrics because you know the paper will dull your needles and all that stuff and I don't be wanting to deal with all that but this also included some needles And it included six replacement needles, which is a lot, you know. And also we have like a um, a brush to keep it clean, two additional bobbins in here, and some more needles uh, that feel like standard size. Those other ones are really thick. Let's open this up and see. One of them looked to be a little bit heavy duty. And the other one, I believe, is like a standard size needle. I'll have to look it up to get the exacts. So, but I think it's cool that you have this little tray also that slides into the side, which is really cool because it helps you keep everything in place. And so, total, I have five bobbins that are already preloaded and eight needles in addition to the one that's on here and a cleansing brush to you know dust off anything that may need dusting now i'm not gonna lie this concerns me a little bit um just because the pedal is like teeny tiny like you can see it in my hands and i have fairly small hands <laughs> so uh to give you a comparison i pulled the uh the pedal off of um, my regular sewing machine and this is the size so as you can see it's like double the size of this I don't know how this is gonna work out um, and it, it doesn't even have much room to go down so that is a concern uh, that I have this this would be a drawback I'm gonna put this on the you know on the end, they should have knew better. This, you know, if you're going to step it up and make sewing machines, then you got to make them right. <laughs> because, um, yeah, this is, the size of this is not where it's at. This is just unacceptable, unacceptable to me, especially because this, um, at the price point of, I believe, 129 I feel like it should be a full-size pedal. Um, and this is just, it doesn't even feel like it's well made. I can see this breaking. So that concerns me. We'll see how, um, we'll see how it plays out once we, you know, get to, um, using it. But I don't know, you guys, I don't know about that. <laughs> so, um, 
what else do I need to show you? So, from um, purchasing through the Home Shopping Network, I did receive like a little add-on bonus for their Stitch Happy Card Kit. This was included. So let's open this up and see what we have, which is kind of cool. Oh, they included some felt. I'm excited. I'm more excited about that. <laughs> um, like the bike and stuff, you know, and this is bent. The bike and stuff is cool, but, but I really do appreciate the felt. I wish it was a little bit more of it. Um, I do like the tags. These are something that would be really easy to stitch around. So I understand those. Um, but, you know, it's just basically to make a card or to make a scrapbook layout. So that's kind of cool. That was a nice bonus. Um, what else is in here? So they included some card base in different colors which is nice these are pretty nice card bases i like those i can work with it nice weight too and these are examples of the patterns that we can do so as you can see we have like a scallop a zigzag that's um a little bit um narrow then we have one that's wide and then we have a straight line and um it looks like you can do the dashes and different um lengths so that's cool so like we have about seven settings on here and um you know that's um that's not a whole lot um that's not a whole lot of settings but i think it's pretty cool like um especially since this machine is throwback vintage type vibe to it so it's not computerized like my other machine has like a little computer screen on it you know you kind of want to compare apples to apples <laughs> all right so i was like i'm just gonna throw together a little quick card just to see what it's like so i grabbed this stripey paper and this pink felt heart and all of these came in that little card kit that you saw and then i also have this little um this little blue piece so I want to try some different stitches and you're definitely going to be able to see the stitches on the back but that's cool um, one of the things I did notice is that it has this little guide here which I think that's actually pretty cool um, especially if you're not that great at sewing you know you have the guide to keep you on your straight line <laughs> so I like that now, I ain't gonna lie. I think that's a really good idea. So, um, I'm just laying things out. And I'm gonna use this guide, too. Everything is really stiff. Like, it needs to be, um, oiled or something. I don't know what's that about. And let's go for it. So, I'm just gonna use this guide. So, it does have a little bit of... bit of speed to it which is pretty good you know let's see uh oh something's something's acting stank and what I'm trying to do is to get that up there where I can tear it and honestly that shouldn't be so tight I don't know what's going on with that with this piece it's like it's not um it's not pulling so yeah that's one of the complaints i have this um this is really i don't know if it's really tight i'm gonna loosen the tension well the tension is on too so you know, it's not like it's really tight. So the pedal, what I was talking about earlier. Um, yeah, 
I I feel like the petal is like super teeny tiny. I feel like the petal just really needs to be bigger. Um, unless you're getting this for a child. And I don't, my feet are not that big. I have like just a little size eight and a half. So that's pretty standard. And I feel like this thing is like super teeny tiny under my feet. Which it is. It's not my feet. It's the thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to attach this on here, and I'm gonna move this little slider thing. I'm gonna move that back because it's just gone in the way. Same thing where it's pulling weird. I don't know what that is. I don't know what's up with that. I've never had that problem with the sewing machine. But as you can see, the bottom pulls fine. It's just this top where I don't know. It's like the tension on here is weird. I don't know what's up with that. The cool thing is it does have this little um, razor blade over there so you can cut your thread. Um, I like that. So that's a step up. It does have a light that you can turn on and off. And I didn't even show you this but it can uh, stitch in reverse. It does have a little button over here for reversing it. And it seems as if it has two speeds on here. and. I didn't try the other speed. Let's see what's let's see what the other speed is about. Okay, that was weird. Let's try it again. I don't know what happened with that. Let's do that again. Okay, <laughs> a lot better. So to me, that's, that speed didn't really do much different. Um, I don't know if I'm being weird and just can't feel the difference or what, but, you know, there's that. I'm trying to figure out why is the tension on this so tight on the top. Just because it's like... And it's on zero and it's like super tight that it loosened it up a little bit but you know that's crazy but other than that um i think this is good for what i want to use it for which is solely for paper crafting um i like the product one of them and this is gonna sound so crazy one of the main um like pros of it is the color <laughs> And I think it's cute. It's really, really cute. I will say that. Uh, however, if you do have a sewing machine, I wouldn't say that this is needed. I'm just not going to say it. Like, honestly, the stitches that I have available on here, I could make on my uh, regular sewing machine with the exception of the scallop. I don't believe my machine has a scallop. Um, 
setting but you know it might um, I, it's just something I never use it because I use my other machine for like sewing fabrics um this would be a great getting started machine like if you only sew like with paper craft and you really don't do much fabric this would be great I think it would be great I don't think this would be just the feel of it while sewing I don't think it would be something that I would want to like sew um like fabrics for a project like a, a home decor project it probably could handle it but to me the machine is not that smooth and I don't feel like it would give you the same um the same like sewing as like the other one so that's my recommendation for that I think it's great for paper crafting which is what it is intended for it's really for mixed media sewing it's for felt and paper and stuff that you just don't necessarily want to put on your regular machine however it's a lot cheaper to buy a needle <laughs> that is for paper than it is to buy another machine but uh, y'all know I, I like to I like to experiment with stuff so um, I am going to leave this one in my craft table and this is like my sewing craft table and I'm going to leave it here because the sewing that I have been doing usually is for paper. I don't use my big sewing machine a whole lot. Um, the most I sew on it is for like um, house home decor projects like pillows and um, curtains and stuff like that. And I don't do that very often. And I just I did not want to use my um, regular sewing machine for papers and stuff. But this also says it can be used for leather. Um, I would, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, honestly, I just don't, I just don't know if it could hold up to like real leather. Maybe like pleather or like crafting leather, leather like that cheap stuff. That's not real leather, but um, like real leather, I don't believe this will uh, hold up to it. Um, just because my other machine has a hard time sewing leather and it's like a, a better mod model than this. And I usually, um, if I'm sewing leather, I go and pull out my grandmother's like uh, heavy duty upholstery sewing machine. Like that's what I use for leather. So that's the type of leather I'm talking about. But like thin stuff, then yeah, you can use it. But like thick real leather, this thing ain't going, it's not going to work. Um, so yeah, and all I need to do is just trim off some of my thread. And you guys, I can hear the hy not the hyenas. I can hear the coyotes. I don't know if you can hear that screaming sound. It is like the creepiest thing, but yeah, we have coyotes now, which kind of sucks because I do have a small dog, and yeah it makes taking her out that much harder so I cut those a little too close I put some tape on it to you know keep it from coming apart so final thoughts I feel like this is way overpriced 129 is a crazy price for this I feel like it would have been better at the $85 price range so I gave it a two out of five appearance it's beautiful it is described as being mint green it is mint it is a beautiful color the design is awesome one of my main reasons for getting it was the design. The craftsmanship on here, yeah. I feel like that pedal is just a little too small for this price point. And it was kind of stiff when I was using it. So I gave it a 3 out of 5. For um, user friendliness, I feel like this is very easy to use. So I gave it a 5 out of 5. So overall, I would say this is probably like a 15 out of 20. It's not hot, but it's kind of warm. <laughs> it's not something that you absolutely need to have, but it does look beautiful in the craft room. So if you want it for appearance, go for it. However, if you want something just to sew, I would say go for something a little bit cheaper.